Okay, doctors. Now I am going to explain the cardinal movements of the labor with both doll and the pelvis. And listen here, doctor. Whenever you are talking about the cardinal movements of the labor, please talk talk in terms of denominator. If you are talking about engagement, take as a denominator as a landmark. If you talk as an internal rotation, take as a uh, in denominator as a landmark. I am telling you, in vertex, what is a denominator? Occiput. So vertex means what it is? Flexion. Understood? In phase it is momentum. Phase means what it is? Extension. So flexion means what? Occiput. Extension means what? It is momentum. Understood? No? Now listen here doctor. Now uh, you all know most common position is left occipital transverse and second most common position is left occipital anterior. Now listen here doctor. I am going to explain the cardinal movements of the labor in left occipital anterior with well flexed attitude in gynecoid pelvis. And it's no left occipital anterior anterior means denominator means occiput will be where occiput will be where near the iliopubic eminence and it's no anterior coordinate means I will be telling in explaining position anterior coordinate means what it is iliopubic eminence so posterior coordinate means what it is sacroiliac joint. So anterior coordinate means iliopubic, posterior means sacroiliac. Now listen here doctor, I am explaining the cardinal movement. First cardinal movement is engagement. What is it engagement means? When the maximum transverse diameter passes through inlet, that is engagement. So when maximum transverse diameter passes through what? Inlet is called as engagement. Now listen here doctor, engagement has got two diameters. Engaging diameter and diameter of engagement. So engaging diameter means it is always fetal diameter. So diameter of engagement is always it is pelvis diameter. Now listen here doctor, engaging diameter means fetal diameter. This engaging diameter has got engaging AP diameter and engaging transverse diameter. I was telling you in complete flexion, engaging AP diameter will be suboccipital brachmatic and transverse diameter, engaging transverse diameter will be the biparietal. Engaging AP diameter will be suboccipital brachmatic and transverse diameter will be the biparietal. This is engaging diameter. Now listen here doctor, we have to come to diameter of engagement. There is a big confusion in many books they are due wrong. Please try to understand the concept now. Listen here doctor, this is left occipital anterior. Why anterior? This is anterior quadrant. Means it is iliopubic eminence. Now listen here doctor, remember the definition of oblique diameter. I was telling you oblique diameter of the pelvic inlet is same sided sacroiliac joint to opposite sided iliopubic eminence. So same sided sacroiliac joint to opposite sided iliopubic. So left oblique means left sacroiliac to right iliopubic eminence. Right oblique means right sacroiliac joint to left iliopubic eminence. Now listen here doctor, here occiput means denominator. Always talk cardinal moments in terms of denominator. This occiput is in iliopubic. Means which iliopubic? Left iliopubic. Means left occipital anterior, left iliopubic. Means which oblique? Right oblique. So LOA in LOA, left occipital anterior, it engages in which oblique? Right oblique. Now come to left mento anterior. See, mento, mentum means what phase? Extension. Now see, so mentum means extension. Now your mentum is also anterior. Left mento anterior. So denominator is what? Mentum. Mentum means what? Left mentum is in anterior means left iliopubic. Means which oblique? Right oblique. LOA is also right oblique and left mento anterior LMA is also what? Right oblique. Now come to, see this is the bridge. Now bridge is anterior means iliopubic, iliopubic. So left sacro anterior which is the denominator, talk in terms of denominator. Sacrum, sacrum is on iliopubic, which iliopubic? Left iliopubic means which oblique? Right oblique. So LOA right oblique, LMA right oblique and once again LSA is also what? Right oblique. Now come to, doctor, now come to uh, right oxip. So left is over. Now come to 
right occipito anterior. Anterior means iliopubic. Which iliopubic? Yes, which iliopubic? Right iliopubic. So, which oblique? Right iliopubic means which oblique? Left oblique. So, right occipito anterior means it is what oblique? Left oblique. Left occipito anterior means which oblique? It is right oblique. Now, listen here, doctor. This is extension. So, now it is right mento anterior. So, mentum is right towards right iliopubic. Means which oblique? It is left oblique. Once again, right mento anterior is left oblique. So, right occipito anterior is also what? Left oblique. Right mento anterior is also left oblique. Now, come to breach. Now, see, this is the left, say, sorry, right sacro anterior. So, sacrum is towards right iliopubic. Means which oblique? Left oblique. Now, doctor, once again revising, LOA, LMA, LSA are all like right obliques. In the same way, ROA, RMA, RSA, they are all left obliques. Means in anterior position, it is Opposite oblique. Now come to posterior positions. Posterior means what it is? Sacro alia, iliac joint. Now anterior means it is iliopubic. Understood? No? Posterior means sacro ilia. Now see, this is the left occipito posterior. What is the denominator? Denominator is occiput. Occiput is posterior. Which posterior? That is sacro ilia. Which sacro ilia? Left sacro ilia. So left sacro ilia means which oblique diameter? Left oblique diameter. So, left occipital posterior is what? Left oblique diameter only. Now, left mento anterior. Doctor, left mento anterior. Mentum is, oh, sorry, left mento posterior. Posterior. So, mentum is over sacroilia. Which sacroilia? Left sacroilia. So, diameter of the engagement is what it is? Left oblique only. Now, come to left sacro posterior so sacrum is over what sacroiliac joint which sacroiliac joint left sacroiliac joint means which oblique left oblique in the same way now this is right occipito posterior so right occipito posterior means posterior means sacroiliac which sacroiliac it is right sacroiliac means which it is it is right oblique now, see the doll. This is the right mento posterior. So, mentum is posterior. Means it is towards sacroilia. Which sacroilia? It is right sacroilia. So, right mento posterior means right oblique. This is the right sacro posterior. Understood? No? So, the sacrum is towards the sacroiliac joint. Which sacroiliac joint it is? Right sacroiliac joint. So, right sacroiliac joint means it is, it is right oblique. Understood now, doctor? I think it is clear now. Listen here, doctor. So, uh, left occipital posterior means left oblique. Left mento posterior means left oblique. Left sacro posterior means left oblique. In the same way, right occipital posterior means it is right oblique. In the same way, right mento posterior means right oblique. In the same way, right sacro posterior means it is right oblique. So, I was telling you in anterior position it is opposite oblique. In posterior position it is same oblique. That is the diameter of engagement at the things. Understood? No? So, it is clear. They will ask you. So, left occipital anterior. So, anterior. Diameter of engagement means opposite oblique. Means left occipital anterior it is right oblique. They will ask you. So, what is the diameter of engagement for right occipital posterior? So, you have to remember the dictum. So, in posterior position it is same oblique. In anterior position it is opposite oblique. So, right occipital posterior means it is right. Means it is posterior. Means same oblique. It is right oblique. I think this is clear for you. So, engagement, engaging diameter, 
diameter of engagement. So now I will be continuing with the cardinal movements. Listen here doctor, listen here. So this is the left occipito anterior. So engaging diameter will be AP will be suboccipital sub brachmatic and transverse will be the biparietal and diameter of engagement. So left occipito anterior, anterior means posterior means same oblique, anterior means opposite oblique. Left means right. So LOA in LOA head, doctor this head engages in right oblique. Understood? No, once again I am telling you in LOA it engages in right oblique. Why right oblique? In anterior position, opposite oblique. In posterior position, it is same oblique. Next, come to the shoulder. Now, this is the head engagement. Next comes to shoulder. Shoulder engages will be in the opposite oblique of the head. So, in elbow, head engages will be in the right oblique. Shoulder engages will be in the left oblique. You have to remember this also. So, this completes the engagement. Now, doctor, next cardinal moment will be the descent. So, descent is a continuous process which will take place till it reaches the pelvic floor muscle. So, where is the pelvic floor muscle? That is the levator ani. So, when it reaches the levator ani, some resistance will be offered by that levator ani muscle. Due to that resistance, there will be what? Flexion. Understood? Due to the resistance, there will be what, doctor? Flexion. So, understood? So, engagement is over. Now, descent. Descent is a continuous process. Takes place till it reaches the pelvic floor muscle. That is levator ani muscle. When it reaches the pelvic floor muscle, there will be flexion. So, that flexion is explained by two arm liver theory. Now, listen here, doctor. The next cardinal moment is internal rotation. Listen here, doctor. So, internal rotation is nothing but torsion, torsion. So, another name for internal rotation is what? Torsion. And second point, second important function of internal rotation is to bring the denominator under subcubic area. Understood? No? So, wherever the denominator, if the denominator is in posterior, that is sacroiliac joint, it has internally rotate and it has to come under subcubic area. That is the principle of internal rotation. Now, listen here, doctor. This is the left occipital anterior. So, so how much internal rotation or how much torsion is required for this denominator to come under subcubic area is 1.8. Understood? Now, listen here. So, 1.8 internal rotation. See, see the doll now. So, see the doll. So, now the occiput is under subcubic area. So, listen here. So, this is left occipital anterior. So, 1.8 internal rotation. So after internal rotation, the denominator is under what? Subcubic area. Now if you come to left occipital transverse. Understood no? So left occipital transverse. For how much internal rotation is required for left occipital transverse uh, to come under subcubic area? So 1A and 2A. Understood no? So how much internal rotation for uh, left occipital transverse? It is 2A internal rotation. Or 2 8 torsion. Now, left occipital posterior means towards sacroiliac joint. How much internal rotation? 1 8, 2 8, and 3 8 internal rotation. Understood? No? So, this is clear, doctor. So, internal rotation is nothing but torsion. Main principle of internal rotation is to bring the denominator under subcubic area. And third principle, doctor, fetal neck can withstand only 1 8 of internal rotation. You should never ever forget. So, fetal neck can withstand only 1 8 of internal rotation. Now, listen here, doctor. I was telling you, in left occipital anterior, how much internal rotation? Only 1 8 internal rotation or 1-8 torsion but no shoulder rotation because why because that 1-8 internal rotation or torsion is withstanded by fetal neck now come to the left occipital transverse so how much internal rotation 1-8 and 2-8 so 2-8 internal rotation will be in left occipital transverse and 2-8 torsion will be there but how much uh, this fetal neck can withstand internal rotation or torsion only 1A. So remaining 1A will be what? Shoulder rotation. Understood? No? Now if you come to left occipital posterior, doctor, how much internal rotation? 1A, 2A and 3A. 
So, 3/8 internal rotation or 3/8 torsion is required for the denominator to come under subcubic area in left occipito posterior. But how much internal rotation can we withstand? 1/8. So, in left occipito posterior, how much is left out? 2/8 is left out. So, 2/8 shoulder rotation will be there in left occipito posterior. And so, in LOA, 1/8 internal rotation or 1/8 torsion, no shoulder rotation. In LOT, 2/8 internal rotation, 2/8 torsion, and 1/8 shoulder rotation. In the same way, in LOP, 3/8 internal rotation, 3/8 torsion, and how much uh, uh, will be the shoulder rotation? It will be 2/8 will be the shoulder rotation. Now, listen here, doctor. Now, in LOA, after internal rotation, sub uh, this occiput is under subcubic area, and you all know. Left occipital anterior occiput means flexion. Now, doctor, flexed attitude, head delivered by extension. Listen here, doctor. Flexed attitude, head delivered by what? Extension. Understood? This is the head is delivering by what? Extension. So, engagement, descent. When it reaches the pelvic floor muscle, what happens? There will be flexion. After that flexion, there will be what? Internal rotation. So after internal rotation, head will be delivered by what? Extension. So flexed attitude, head will be delivered by extension. And you should remain, you should remember, doctor, till the extension is happening, the shoulders will always be remains in that same position because in LOA there is no shoulder rotation. In LOT, one eighth shoulder rotation will be there. In uh, LOP, how much shoulder rotation it is? 2/8 shoulder rotation. Now listen here, doctor. After the head delivered by extension, the next movement is restitution. See the doll. The restitution will be in the opposite direction of internal rotation. See, this is the internal rotation as happening like this. See, head is delivered in by extension. Internal rotation has happened like this, and restitution will be opposite to like this. See. Restitution will be opposite to internal rotation. Now listen here. In LOA, baby face will be born towards right thigh of the mother. In the same way, in ROA, baby face will be born towards left thigh of the mother. So this is restitution. So restitution is nothing but detorsion. Understood? No? Internal rotation is nothing but torsion. So restitution is nothing but what it is? It is detorsion. Now see the next cardinal movement, doctor. The next cardinal movement is external rotation is due to the external rotation is nothing but the in uh, man, outward manifestation of internal rotation of the shoulders. So once again, I will be repeating, doctor. External rotation of the fetal head is nothing but as the outward manifestation of internal rotation of the shoulders. I was telling you in LOA, head engages in right oblique and shoulder engages in left oblique. Whenever there is uh, the external rotation of the fetal head, the shoulders which were in the left oblique, they will come to the AP diameter of the pelvis. So they will come to what? AP diameter of the pelvis. Now you can see the doctor, the anterior shoulder. The anterior shoulder is born under pubic symphysis and pivots here. It will itches the pubic symphysis. Now see the thing doctor. This posterior shoulder delivered by lateral flexion. So now listen here. So posterior shoulder is delivered by lateral flexion. So the shoulder which is delivered first is posterior shoulder. It is not, uh, listen here, many times people will confuse as anterior shoulder. It is not. It is a posterior shoulder which is delivered first followed by anterior shoulder. Followed by anterior shoulder. I think so. This is very clear. So posterior shoulder is delivered first followed by what? Anterior shoulder. So engagement, descent. Next what? Flexion. Then what? Internal rotation. Extension, restitution, external rotation. I think no, this is clear. No, so listen here. So engagement, engagement, descent, descent means what it is till it reaches the pelvic floor muscle. Internal rotation means what it is. How much internal rotation? One eight. So, hey, flexed attitude, head delivered by what? 
extension. Flexed attitude into delivered by what? Extension. So restitution means opposite to internal rotation. So external rotation is nothing but internal rotation of shoulders. Now anterior shoulder reaches under pubic symphysis and posterior shoulder is delivered first followed by anterior shoulder. Understood no? So this is about the cardinal movements of the labor in left occipital anterior. Okay doctors. So next video I will come up with left mento anterior and left sacro anterior that is breech delivery. Okay Balaji thank you.